Hello and welcome back to my channel. I want to begin today's video by apologizing for being a couple of weeks since my last upload. Um, I am dealing with some personal matter on the side, which I hope to get over soon, but I do hope that uh, you keep me in your thoughts. Uh, today's video, however, will address a more popular question on which are the most affordable colleges and universities for international students in Canada. And also a sub question on uh, which are the best provinces uh, for international students. Uh, so unlike in the United States and Canada, we say provinces, we have provinces and territories. Altogether, there are 10 provinces and three territories. Um, and I think uh, to do justice to this question on the best province for international students, uh, we would need to uh, attack each province or territory individually uh, to talk about the educational institutions there, what uh, they might have in terms of average tuition fees for international students. And then we'll look at the advantages and disadvantages. Um, but that won't be in today's video. I think uh, the point of today's video is really to address, uh, you know, just a quick summary on which are the, the most affordable or among the most affordable uh, educational institutions for you as an international student to pursue either your undergrad or postgrad uh, certifications. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Let's take this video outside and uh, yeah, we'll see which, which schools come up uh, for you to consider. Uh, thank you and stay tuned. So uh, in the Atlantic provinces of Canada, uh, when we talk about Atlantic provinces, those are all the provinces uh, to the east of Canada uh, around the Atlantic Ocean or, you know, bounded by, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so there are four provinces uh, in, the, in Atlantic Canada. We have uh, Prince Edward Island. We have Nova Scotia. We have uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. So Newfoundland and Labrador is uh, one province uh, by name Newfoundland and Labrador. And uh, we have New Brunswick. Um, and I must say that uh, throughout Canada, um, so far in my research, I believe all the most affordable institutions via colleges or universities are all located in Atlantic Canada. So, um, I can, uh, a few of uh, these schools that come to mind uh, include Dalhousie University, Dalhousie University, some would say. Uh, it's a great school. They have lots of programs. Uh, it's a university. Uh, they have lots of undergrad and master's program, lots of faculties. Um, there is also uh, Memorial University, uh, which is located in Newfoundland and Labrador. I believe at some point, Memorial was known as uh, University of Newfoundland and Labrador, but now the name is Memorial University. Um, there are a few other universities also that, um, but don't have a lot of um, options when it comes to master's programs, namely uh, like Cape Breton University, like St. Mary's University, uh, which I believe is in New Brunswick. Uh, Cape Breton must be in PEI, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they are all great schools with really great tuition fees, uh, but uh, St. Mary's and uh, University of Cape Breton, Cape Breton Island University, I believe, don't have a lot of options when it comes to master's programs. I believe they have uh, mostly master's programs in education and uh, business management. But uh, Memorial University and Dalhousie University for sure are great schools with um, a lot more faculty, meaning a lot more options for you in terms of master's or postgrad studies. But uh, all the universities, that, the universities I've just mentioned all have options. Uh, when, if, in case you're looking for an undergrad program, then any of these universities I've mentioned will do just fine. 
um, and they definitely have uh, some of the best tuition fees for international students in Canada. For college options, I'll still pick the Atlantic provinces. Uh, there are quite a bit of colleges there, uh, notable mentions uh, Holland College, uh, which I believe is located in Prince Edward Island. Uh, that's a great little school. Uh, they have quite a bit of programs, uh, but I think they specialize mostly in undergrad uh, diploma and certificate programs. They do have quite a, uh, they do have a few uh, postgrad uh, programs, but it's not a whole lot. Um, the other school that uh, I was a bit excited about when I saw uh, their website is CNA, College of North Atlantic. Um, they have, that's, that seems like a big school. I haven't been there. I don't know what the school looks like, but uh, with reference to their program outline, they, it looks like they, they, they have a lot of uh, programs, uh, both undergrad and postgrad options. Uh, it's a pretty exciting school and definitely one of the cheapest. Uh, Holland College also for sure is very affordable. Um, so yeah, those are the two main colleges that come to mind uh, when it comes to affordability for international students. I will be uploading the information. I'll be putting in the information down um, in the uh, description section of this video so you can find them and look up the schools. Uh, on average, I think uh, for the universities I've talked about earlier, uh, so both Dalhousie and uh, Newfoundland, uh, Memorial University in Newfoundland, uh, I think uh, most master's programs ranges uh, in, the, uh, in the, about $11,000 uh, annually. Um, or about $11,000 for tuition, there might be a bit extra for um, ancillary costs. Uh, so you could target or budget for around $13,000 uh, for total tuition fees. Um, I have seen um, uh, a friend of mine has forwarded me a video from another YouTuber indicating that uh, Memorial University has tuition fees of about $1,000 or $2,000 annually for international students, um, which I couldn't verify. I went on the website. Yes, some programs have uh, lower tuition fees, but that's not the complete picture. Uh, it is mostly, uh, from what I saw on their website, it looked like uh, that the, the lower amounts that were mentioned were for, you, you had to multiply that amount by the number of credits that you'd be taking in that program. So guys, uh, you know, let's not get overexcited about, uh, you know, videos that tell us uh, schools in Canada have master's programs for less than $5,000. Uh, I think it's unrealistic, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, I haven't seen, I haven't researched every single school in the country, which I believe there are over 200 colleges and universities. Uh, but yes, like I said, uh, I think in today's video, we'll have enough information for a good start. For those of you who are looking to immediately apply for schools, uh, if you're looking for university, undergrad or postgrad, master's programs, uh, again, the options would be Dalhousie University, Memorial University. Uh, if you're looking for undergrad specifically, then St. Mary's University, uh, University of uh, Cape Breton Island. I think those are good schools. Uh, but if you're looking for the college option, uh, definitely check out Holland College and College of North Atlantic Canada. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, I hope to see you in my next session. Bye-bye.